He's already starting to close the gap on Ian Hasley. And late starting for the race as well. Stacey just trying to put the pressure on for the uh, final step of the podium. So those first four cars are all Janettas, and then the first non-Janetta sits there in what's going to be fifth place, and that will be the Porsche of uh, Simon Clark. Well, I've just been uh, advised here by Steve Wood, who's up here with us in the commentary box, feeding us the information here that uh, Axel Van Nedeby has not been subject to an on-track overtake. He's never been overtaken off-track this season, so he'll want to keep up that record, I'm sure, and he'll certainly keep up that record if he can stay on the tail of Ian Astley uh, at the front of the field and uh, looking to try and close in. Uh, fastest lap on the race, of course, uh, set by that SPG Motorsport. Gap is now just three quarters of a second between himself and that track. Number one data by Sports Jetta, um, Axel Van Nedeby. Yes, indeed. So still nothing to choose between the uh, the top five, as it's seen, or in fact top four now. Although, to be fair, Simon Clark and uh, Lee Goldsmith are just about keeping with the uh, Janettas on the run down towards Agostini. So I think they can class themselves in this lead battle as it stands. Uh, then behind them is the number 19 at Thorny Motorsports uh, BMW. So uh, Callum Noble there in the, the purple and green BMW with then uh, the Janetta and the Porsche uh, back from him as they turn through Hamilton. And of course, Lee Goldsmith is the uh, new potato. Today, so it's his first time out in the car training this year. But a good run at the minute, just learning from Simon Clark in the number 23 machine. The uh, form Evo Clark racing turned its way on towards the back straight, and we'll see what the advantage is in terms of the two cars. Porsche's up against BMW as they work their way down the back straight. Barely even to be fair, although the BMW picks up a little bit of a toe. Uh, might be in a position here under the bridge to make a move, although he needs to be made a little bit closer. Uh, 
Then he's going to be faced to achieve that this time round. 1.1 seconds he was back from the Janessa last time through. This time it is going to be 1.9. So in fact, it has grown. And Simon Clark almost was in a position there to make a move on Lee Goldsmith once again to try and get his fifth place back. But it doesn't work. He gets a good run through Richie's though. And he might try something up towards the Wilson hairpin as the BMW and Ford continue to battle. Through the right hand they go. And again, no room through there as Lee Goldsmith gets himself on the correct line. Got the apex and heads out the corner nicely. Yeah, just able to hold on to that position. Is Lee Goldsmith on the way down towards Wilson, uh, Edovino still under that pressure from Shilio and uh, well for Edovino, every race he has contested he's won this season so uh, to find himself in second place under slight pressure from Shilio as they make their way out of Agostini uh, as they head their way now through in towards Hamilton here, uh, just looking at the lap times there, yeah, I thought that might be the case uh, as uh, Mauricio Shilio is the fastest car out there One, well, 206.369, a new fastest lap of the race for Shilio as he turns up the wick, turns up the pressure and is the most confident in these sort of changeable conditions. The track is going to improve more and more. It's just a case for these drivers. How early do you push? It's uh, looking at the uh, qualifying times. Yeah, we're probably pretty much back on pace with a dry track, maybe just a couple of seconds shy. But again, he's just me being the first driver to push on and, and not be caught up by the conditions. Yeah, you see these opportunities up ahead where the post cars may be able to Yeah, 
Australia as that's her Julian Rumbling in this set of sports Ginetta finding his way past Callum Noble. That is a change for class position there. It's in fact uh, the sixth and seventh place in class. So uh, moving their way up, the uh, two Clio leaders are now charging their way through in towards Richie's pretty much bumper to bumper there. So brilliant stuff between uh, Dragon Sport and High Road Motorsport there. The 66 and the 88. Uh, Jack Meeky behind the Dragon Sport Clio there and his Max Coates behind the 88. Yep, and the uh, 83 Honda Civic of what's going to be that machine now driven by Edward Cook has finally got past the uh, Clio. So the Dragon Sport machine uh, number 92 has dropped down. So Alex and Edward couldn't quite keep them uh, behind as they work their way on towards the uh, Bendy straight on that previous lap. So uh, that has now changed around. Uh, the top two within the Clio class are separated by, by two tenths of a second for those three close to the three. Uh, 66 and 88, so that's going to be the cars of Jack Meakin and Max Coates, who's been brought in uh, for today instead of Ollie Meadows. And Ideal for him, but he's going to have to work hard because 